Fox News alert. Growing pressure for the White House on two fronts right now. I'm Sandra Smith. And I'm Ed Henry. First, a Fox News exclusive in the battle over the president's health care law. We've just obtained a letter from Republican Congressman Darrell Issa demanding more documents be turned over in connection with the botched rollout of healthcare.gov. The letter says the documents they have already received show, quote, senior White House officials as well as the president appear to have been far more personally involved in decision making related to healthcare.gov than the White House previously represented. This coming amid outrage at revelations in newly revealed emails showing ex-IRS official Lois Lerner was coordinating with the Department of Justice on prosecuting nonprofit groups just days before the scandal was exposed. Joining us now live from Texas, Republican Congressman Blake Farenhold, who serves on the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Welcome, Congressman. What I want to know specifically is what do you you serve on the committee with Daryl Issa that's demanding that the White House counsel turn over some of these documents on healthcare.gov. What do you think they'll show? Well, what happened is we requested them from the Department of Health and Human Services, and we found out that uh, the White House had some institutional interest uh, in them, and some stuff was redacted. We want to know what was redacted, what wasn't turned over. I think that institutional White House interest was, well, hmm, this makes us look bad. And, and you think that the president and some of his senior aides may have known more, not just about uh, the website not being ready to go on October 1st, but some of the security concerns you've raised? Right, and we, we've got uh, suggested uh, information that shows very early on the White House was actively involved, and we want to see the documentation, see uh, who knew what when, and why we didn't uh, work to fix this faster and better. Congressman, I've just gotten reaction from a White House official in the last few moments to this letter sent over to the White House. Quote, there is nothing extraordinary about the fact that HHS has made a small number of redactions in the many thousands of pages of documents it has produced. Uh, we have to note that there's been over 8,000 and pages of documents related to healthcare.gov that your committee has gotten. So is this a case of Republicans just saying the news has gotten better for the president with the over 7 million signups, so you want to go back to the early part of this, which was much bad for him? No, I don't think so. I think the issue is that some of the redactions were made at the White House request and the documents filtered through the White House. And uh, we want to know what the White House chose to redact and why. Oh, let's shift gears now. We mentioned Lois Lerner, these emails suggesting there might have been coordination between the IRS and the Justice Department, raising a lot of explosive allegations from Republicans. What do you think this proves? Well, it certainly proves, I think, and again, we got to get the evidence to uh, show it, that this didn't end with Lois Lerner. This was a big deal for a mid-level IRS employee to be involved in. We want to know who else was involved in it, how the decision-making process happened, and how to stop it from happening again. We don't want the IRS being political. It's bad enough they have to take all our tax money. Now, Speaker John Boehner has said that if Lois Lerner does not start cooperating, uh, she had taken the fifth, obviously, that she's going to be held in contempt of Congress. Where does that stand right now? Well, the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee voted to hold her in contempt because we believe she waived her Fifth Amendment right. We can't hold somebody in contempt for exercising a right. But when she got up there and made 17 factual allegations and didn't give us the opportunity to question, she waived them. So the site committee voted her in contempt. It'll probably be before the entire House in a couple weeks. Congressman, we're expecting that vote could come before the full House sometime after the Easter recess. Uh, happy holidays to you, and uh, thank you for uh, filling us in on the latest details. Yeah. Happy Easter, Ed. Good to see you.